that's just my opinion. And I will be having some cocktails to hopefully if I don't gain weight with this quarantine, if it lasts so much longer. So I do need to hydrate. I'm out of breath. I can't even suck it in. Moving on. Very popular. Moving on. Moving on. So maybe if I'm bloated one day, I can wear that pair. If I'm not, I'll wear this pair. And let's just get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. I'm Carrie, and today we will be doing a little haul of goodies that I just received for fall winter season. For those who don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I am a full-time influencer. So I'm lucky to have brands send me such great pieces all the time. And normally I post them on stories, but I figured today I'll just do a little rundown and show you what I got, share my sizing and talk about it a little bit and put me wearing it in the corner. It's not a styling video. This isn't necessarily how I'd style the pieces, um, but you can get a, a little idea of if it's something that maybe you'll like Maybe some of you want to style for the season as well. Um, so I'm not going to keep blabbering. Let's just get into it. So first I'm going to start with sweaters. Um, and the first sweater I, have, I got in, well, I ordered this from Amazon. And I love this sweater vest so much. And so did everyone on Instagram. Um, here it is. It's so cute. It comes in so many different colors. It's only 30 bucks. And um, for size reference, I got a size large. I wanted it oversized. I like all my sweater vests oversized so I could put it, so it's not like hugging me and it could fit um, over my button down tops. Um, but that is the first thing that I got in. Now this sweater, I think is such a good staple for the season. You can't go wrong with just a plain, plain cream colored sweater. The material is great, it's not too itchy, and especially it's not itchy if you wear your button down underneath. But I love this so much, it's a little bit, I mean, it's not too, too pricey, but um, you'll get a lot of use out of it. So I got a small medium for size reference. Moving on, moving on to another sweater vest. If you saw my last YouTube video, I um, talked about a bunch of sweater vests in my fall trends video. Um, well, that was just some of my sweater vests. I got a lot more in. So here is another one and this one is black and I am in love with it. And I just tried on this outfit right before doing this video right here. And I didn't know how to style the dress that's under it. And I paired this together. It's not something I normally would pair together, but I think it looks cute. Let me know what you think. Here is it combined together, but this dress I just don't really love wearing belts, so the sweater vest was a perfect thing to put over it because sometimes I just don't love the way belts look. I don't know why, but I think this combo looks super cute. And this sweater vest is definitely a really good staple if you're looking to get one because any neutral color, you could pair with a, a bunch of different outfits and you can't really go wrong with black. So for size, size reference, I got a small medium in this. And then in the dress, I also got a small medium. Moving on. So this season, if you don't always want to be wearing pants, you want to switch up your look a bit. I would say when it's freezing out, uh, sweater dresses is the way to go. I got this one from Boohoo. It's got this cable knit detail. Um, the price is super um, good. Super, super good. The price is good. Boohoo's prices are all really great. Pretty cheap. Uh, I got this in a large. Um, the medium might have fit, but I also wanted it to be a little bit oversized. I didn't want it like skin tight. I didn't want like a bodycon uh, sweater dress. <laughs> um, but you can't go wrong with black and um, you can pair it with so many different things, trench coats, puffer coats, anything you want. And so on that same note, I got this um, sweater dress. And to be honest, I thought I got it from Boohoo and the tag says otherwise. So I never heard of this brand, so I need to do research. And of course I'll link it. The size though, when it's linked, this is a large, so. Um, but again, if you wanna do more neutral colors, you'll have your black, your like cream tan. And I think that's, if you do like a gray, that's like plenty to make a bunch of different outfits, which is why I love creating like more of a capsule wardrobe because you can make so many different outfits with 
just those simple pieces. So mix and match your jackets and then you just have completely new outfits. You know, if you wear prints all the time, um, you can't really do that. And I guess people know if you wore it again, which doesn't really matter. But if you're like me, I don't really love wearing my prints like again, I don't know why, but my basic pieces wear all the time. Um, and then the last sweater is this one. I love this, it's so cute. The color is really cute. And with these little, um, acid wash jeans from Urban that I am in love with, which we'll get to in a bit when we get to pants. Um, the colors, it looks cute together. But um, this I got a small medium in, and this is from Storettes. Okay, so I think that's all for the sweaters. So we're gonna move on to jackets and coats um, first. It's Friday, and I will be having some cocktails tonight. So I do need to hydrate. So I'm gonna chug this. Two hours later. I went from like here to here. I had a breath. Ooh. Okay, now I feel full as shit. It feels like that I can't even suck it in. I gotta bring my sweater up. <laughs> okay, anyway, moving on to this super cute plaid coat with this, I guess you'd go, Sherpa? I need to get my terms right before I do these videos. I don't know why I fail at that. But um, I love the plaid, the color is super cute. Um, and this is from Avec Les Feels. I'm not gonna, I don't even know how to say it. Like it's, this, I got a size medium and maybe I would have done a large, but the medium, um, fits really nicely as well. I kind of just like everything oversized, but that is something that you'll be seeing on the gram soon. So make sure to follow there because that's where I post the majority of my stuff. Okay, then we have, I'm excited because the last video I had my trench coat and I was saying I wanted a larger one. Well, we got it. So this one is from Storettes as well. And this is a small medium and it fits, it is an oversized, so it fits larger. So the small medium actually does work. Um, but you could pair this with so many different things. I'm so excited to wear this this season. I think it's definitely a piece that like everyone needs that along with, you know, those leather pants that we'll get to in a bit that everyone's wearing, which I love. Um, but you could just mix and match it with so many different outfits. Okay, so moving on. How many times am I gonna say that in this video? Probably a lot. We have this Boohoo faux leather, and that one's faux leather as well. Faux leather, uh, like biker jacket. And this one's longer, which I really like. It gives me that like Hailey Bieber vibe, which I love her style. But yeah, so this is a little on the bigger side. Um, the color is great. If you have your black and your cream, it's like you're good to go. For sizing, I got this in a US 10. So I go large on my jackets and my coats. Like I said, I just like it all oversized. I think it's a vibe. Moving on. Now we have this. Um, I need to steam it out because it's real wrinkly. Um, but this one is from Boohoo. This is a size large in color chocolate and Again, this is this can be paired with so many different things. So the options are endless and again, a really good staple to have. This pile, you saw this pile. Okay, then we have this, which is shedding a little bit, but I really love it. Um, it's so soft, which I did not expect. It is Boohoo, so I really wasn't expecting that. I got this in a US 10 and just look at it. The material on the outside is super soft too. It honestly, like it feels really good quality, which again, I'm kind of shocked. Nothing against Boohoo, but you know, it's fast fashion and you know, you're not paying top quality, like quality price, top prices. But so here's this and I love it. It is shedding all over me. So I don't know what's up with that, but I guess the shed is worth it for the look, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do. Moving on, lots of faux leather here. This is from Storettes and oh my goodness, this jacket is beautiful. I love it. You can wear it open or you could belt it. I just love this so much. They have it in black and I really want it in the black. 
because I think you can get so much use out of it and you could pair it with so many different color combos. For size reference, I got, I'm gonna say I got a small medium um, because that's pretty much all they send me. So definitely a small medium, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, we have this, um, like fitted type blazer so it's less of a boxier look and more it kind of comes in a bit and it has more of a structured look on the waistline um this is from storettes and in this video that's not how i would style it it was just that's what i was wearing um prior to filming that but i got a small medium and i think you can make a really sick outfit with this um but i just have yet to do it considering i just got it in the mail yesterday so this is super cute and I really like the color on this as well. Moving on. We have this boxy blazer right here. This is from Storettes. It's a small medium and I just love a crop blazer, but this one's nice because all my other ones are thin for summer. But this one is a little bit more for winter. Well, it's not, you could really wear this out in winter, but if you're going out, hopefully one day soon we can all go out again but it has like this like quilted padding. So it is a warmer and it's like a faux suede on the outside. Okay, then this top they sent, which I don't know how I'd wear it really. I think maybe just the way I'm styling it here, just a simple jean, maybe like some skinny sunglasses, just a really simple look. But I kind of like how like a lot of the stomach action shows. Um, I think it could look really cool with um, if styled correctly with like baggy jeans and stuff and like a cool boot. But this I got size small, medium. All right, so we're gonna move on to pants. I used to just like use the same kind of jeans and it didn't like make my outfits feel complete. I just don't love trying on jeans. Jeans never fit me like the right way. It's always super tough for me to find pairs that I love. And I finally found pairs that I love and I'm very, very excited about it. And these are all from Urban Outfitters. It's their BDG line, which I love so much. So the first one is the pair that I'm wearing. Um, and this video shows it better, but this pair is just so flattering. I'm pretty short, I'm 5'4", and literally, these jeans, I don't know, they made me so, so happy. It sounds so pathetic, but I really don't love my legs. It's something I'm insecure about. So if a jean can make me feel super confident, I'm all for it. I now have three pairs and I'm really stoked about it. So this pair is a must. Um, I got a size, at first I got a 27s, but in the waist it was super um, tight. So then I sized up to a 28. But it's interesting because some of the other pairs in that line um, run bigger. So that kind of stinks. But just buy two pairs that's your size and maybe one size up and then just return the other if you're unsure. But I really think these jeans are a must. And then they also come in the blue and it's like the perfect baggy denim. Make your booty look pretty good too because it's like more of a wedgie fit. So can't go wrong with that. So for these I got, I actually kept both sizes. 27 and 28 so the 27s are my normal size but the 28 fit like a little bit looser so maybe if i'm bloated one day like wear that pair if i'm not i'll wear this pair <laughs> and then i also got them in this lighter i actually just picked these up yesterday um so i love this lighter wash color it's just nice to have a variety of pants to kind of switch up your look so you're not always wearing just a blue denim we have um this is also BDG from Urban Outfitters. This corduroy pant is so comfy. Literally, the stretch is great. This, get your normal size. So I got a 27. Um, I could have maybe done a 26, but I didn't want it to be tight. I like a little bit of a lo looser fit, not too loose, but this color is super cute. I don't have anything like this. So um, I was gonna return it and then I tried it on with um, this look and I was like, wait a minute, I'm not gonna return these because this looks super cute. So something different to add to my closet that will last me for a while. Hopefully if I don't gain weight with this quarantine, if it lasts so much longer. Moving on to the very popular, which I showed this in my last video on the trends, but I'll show it again. Um, so, cause it is pretty new, but um, the Molina pant, which everyone's raving about, 
Now I got a size six. Um, if it's sold out online, go to the stores because a lot of people are saying that they still have it there, but this has been selling out like crazy. Um, they are the softest pants ever, so comfortable. Um, and they're really, really flattering to the legs. Like I said, I don't want my legs. So if a pant flatters my legs, I'm so excited. And this definitely does. So the Molina pant from Aritzia, yes, hunted down fast. Lastly, we have just kind of the basic tee that I got in. Um, I have it in white, but now I just got it in black. This um, just oversized tee. Now this is from Fourth and Reckless, and it's the perfect length. The material's super thick, so it's not like see-through or anything like that. Especially with the white, it's not see-through. Um, but the material makes a difference, especially because it's like a t-shirt. You don't want a super thin t-shirt dress. I got a size US 6, and this is from 4th and Reckless. And then I will also link the, the white as well. Then lastly, I think this is lastly, before I move on to just some of my favorite boots, this little top, I got this from Urban, and the material, the stretch on it is so good. It doesn't, like it it, it like bounces back like if you stretch it out it's not going to stay baggy it comes back it's like a little bit more, more spandexy but i have this in black too and i wear these all the time under any of my jackets coats and it's just a simple top but it's the quality is really good now i'm just going to move on and show you some of my newest boots that i got that i'll be wearing a lot moving on to shoes i'll start with not boots but these loafers <laughs> loafers loafers are super in right now i really want the prada ones but i want to buy a house too so i'm trying to save up and i don't know if that's what my wallet like really should be doing right now then we have this really chunky boot these are from asos and i've worn them in a lot of my photos um they got that nice little they're a little dirty i went to a catskills and wore the shit out of them they're really comfortable and i think these will sell out pretty fast so I'd snag them if you want them because last time I checked, they were selling out really fast, but this is definitely a boot that I'll be wearing a lot. Again, on <laughs> dupes, I have these Sam Edelman boots and they honestly look a lot like the Prada boots. This is definitely the best like dupe I've seen so far, but look at that. Like pretty good, pretty good, especially if you don't want to drop some bills. This is definitely the shoe to get. I got these off Urban, um, but you can probably get them off Sam Edelman's site as well. And they come in white as well. Next up, we have these boots, which I am so in love with. Heel action on this is just super chic. I love how thin that is. And then the toe is squared off. This doesn't look as good in the camera. I will put up a like video of me wearing them with my pants because this doesn't do them justice but they're super super cute and then i also have them in this nude color which you could see more of the shape in this color since the contrast against my top but these i didn't wear yet so you could see how nice they are and these are boohoo so pleasantly really surprised with um these two pairs and i think they're only like 24 bucks so snag them. I have these white boots. The I love anything with a square toe. It's super in right now. And I didn't really have a good white boot that I love. I mean, I have my uh, Docs, but I mean, totally different vibes. So I wanted to get a white boot that I wear. But these are from Steve Madden and they also come in black and they may come in another color. I'm not sure. Okay, moving on to probably my favorite pair of knee high boots. I have them in white too. I destroyed the shit out of them though. Um, but these from Nine West, the heel height on them is so perfect. Um, I hate any high, high heels. The lower heel boots, I just think are more flattering and they're more on trend. I don't think really high boot heels are in. Um, so this heel height, I think is perfect and they look really chic. Um, the material is really great. And these run a little bit small um, and I don't, yeah. So I got a seven and a half. I could have probably gotten an eight um, because when I do wear these with socks, it's pretty tight. And I'm a solid 7.5, so maybe size up if you're kind of in between sizes. 
but yeah these boots are definitely a staple that you can have for years they're super chic and then i think last but not least we have these boots which everyone on instagram was loving and i saw a lot of you guys on my like to know it bought some pairs so i hope it's not sold out by now because i did get this maybe a little bit ago but i really love the color and they look really really chic with like an all monochrome cream or white look i love a monochromatic winter white with like this coat you know super cute um and the pointed toe is also a vibe but in my opinion um i do have to say so pointed toes and squared toes are really in right now and i really see rounded toed um fading out not really when it comes to like doc martens and stuff with the rounded because imagine doc martens with a pointed toe that'd be really weird um but as far as like little booties i don't really love a rounded toe and i don't really see them as much anymore but that's just my opinion and what i've been noticing i lied last but not least we have these gorgeous boots i am obsessed with the heel on these they are so cool look at that look how cute that is it's so chic but these are pointed toe um i have this little gold detail right here and these are from fourth and reckless so i think that is all um, that's everything I got him this week. When new clothes come in, I would love to keep doing hauls. If this is something that you guys are interested in, let me know if you like it below and show some love, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you.